1851, a novel about the obsessive pursuit of a great white whale was published. 164 years later, the revenge of Captain Ahab is still read. Will the novels written by our four finalists be read a century from now? Who knows? I know only, to quote Ed Hatchett, that the tricky thing about being a writer or about being any kind of artist is that in addition to making art, you also have to make a living. To Bali, Tiangqing, Sebastian, and Su Yi, thank you for making art. My hope is that we can all help you make a living. The bad news is that there will only be one winner. <laughs> the good news, we will have grand books will publish the other three too. Loud, this was better than any dish Ma had ever cooked. In the light of the bedside lamp, I saw the grey hairs on his head, a sea of white against his scalp, how he had aged. In just over a short period of time, how vulnerable he had seemed now. Umano did not get that, that Uncle Anajan was teasing her. One week later, she leaned close to Gimila on the school bus and whispered, don't tell anyone. I just got married. I'm now the wife of Chandra the Moon God. It's so much less painful to see other people struggle in the barbed wire on top of those walls than to have herself caught in it. Throughout her adult life, she has been alternating between being behind the wall and on top of it, trapped in the wire. So we had for very, very different manuscripts, competing, very contrasting qualities, and we all three gave our feedback, and then we had a very, very, very long lunch meeting, and then not an easy process, and we went back and forth, and we discussed, and after much, much back and forth, we came to a decision. And the winner is O Tiang Chin. Writing is hard, and I don't have to tell you this. Um, you, you hear it all the time from writers of all kinds. It truly is. When I started this novel back in 2010, I had no idea it would even, how it would eventually turn out. You take your first step, then another. You stumble, you fall, you figure out something quickly, and you adjust. Then after four years, um, when you're done, when the words are all on the page, your fear, your doubt begin to crawl in. What is this strange thing you have written? What is it about? What does it make any sense? to you, to anyone, you worry incessantly about it and you want to take it back, you know, you want to start all over again. You try to build something, you try to build up some confidence about it and you try to work your strength around it. And you do what you can for it and then you let it go. And this is what happens when you let it go. You send it out into the world like a bird in search of dry land. It comes back with a tweak of hope. I'd like to thank all these people in my life um, who have encouraged me and helped me along the way. My parents, who have always asked me, hey, Tatiago, can you make a living out of this? Pa, Ma, this is for you. To my siblings and my family who have fed me, comforted me, and helped me to my belief and conviction. To my friends, to the thick and thin, um, you guys are truly a godsend. And not forgetting, of course, and men uh, for, for this prize. And the whole Epigram team, like, like Clara, Sophia, and Lan, for the hard work, dedication, commitment to making this evening possible. A very big thank you to all of you.